I'm trying to appeal now that I'm on YouTube or your tube or up your tube or whatever it's called. I'm going to appeal to the people of the nation and for people that speak English in any other part of the world, hell, I'm going global. But I don't think they get it, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if the Eskimos got earmuffs, but I'll tell you what. Did you know, for you people in Minneapolis, St. Paul, I've been there. It's a lovely, lovely place, man. The people are very, very nice. It's a city of brotherly love. God, dog, I don't know what that's all about, and I don't even want to fucking go there. All right, because shit. Damn. I don't want to go there. It's just... All right, I got some flack from that, but whatever, you know. Let's get to the household hints. Drink from cans, you know. And uh, for places where it gets cold, and like uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, did you know that ordinary hot dog buns can be used as earmuffs to keep the ears warm? They don't have to be sourdough or nothing fancy or anything like that. But in case you lost your earmuffs or you left them in your other coat or your other pants or your other truck, wherever you keep your fucking earmuffs, I don't really fucking know, you know, because, like I say, you don't get cold here, you know. Or maybe you're on a airline flight. Mm-hmm. And, uh... You forgot your earmuffs, you know, but you got your hot dog buns. Well, shit, they'll just work just as well with a little bit of coat hanger, you know, and a, as you can see. And you can warm them up in the toaster oven, microwave, put, it, put them out in the sun. You know, solar, heat them, and they work real good. Thank you very much. I love you, beautiful, you know, so... The other thing I did, people have been asking me why I wear a cap indoors, fucking assholes. I hope it wasn't fucking obvious. It's for protection. In case any of you uh, might have a little sweetheart, a little uh, over enthusiastic about getting you a beer. You just, uh, now I made this, I got, uh, I made this myself. Uh, it's from, uh, one of my old jobs, uh, off the site, the construction site. I didn't last long very, uh, because I put, uh, I used to, used to hammer and they had these, uh, they called them guns, but it looked like a state work to me, man. It, it, I just shot one right through my foot, man. It hurt like fucking hell, and they fired me first day I was on the job. And I'm just going, well, how the hell am I supposed to know that's how you put a nail in the, you know, I, anyway. And I took a CB radio out of one of my trucks, and so when your little, uh, Sweetie Pie is too far away and you don't want to bother the neighbors, really, at this time of night. <laughs> it's not time here. I don't know where you are, but, you know. Hey, sugar bitch, give me another fucking beer, would you please? Make it ice cold, please. Thank you very much. I love you. You're beautiful. Thank you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Make sure you know I love you. All right. You see? And you can expect incoming, you know. And like I say, I switch to cans. But whenever that thing comes flying through, well, <clears throat> okay. 
Thank you, dear. Thank you, darling. Got it. Roger, open. Now, let's say this sucker hit me in the face. Would not have been pretty. What do I do? That's right. I'll call the police. Just like that. Damn straight. Try to scare the hell out of her because she just goes around and hiding because she knows what she's doing. So, ordinary CB radio, or I'll sell these for twenty nine ninety five. Just right to me. Pete Moss. One size fits all. It's got a little emergency flasher right here. But if I turn that on, it'll blow your camera right out of the stool. Or something like that. Or the stool right out of your camera. <laughs> Won't like it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to address some issues. Thanks for the beer. It was a near beer, I'll tell you what. <laughs>